636 drill isn't too far away from being full stroke freestyle. Looking at it from face value, it's normal freestyle, just that you're breathing for a little longer than normal. In this tutorial, we'll take a look at why it's a good drill to do when suing freestyle and how it can help your stroke. Although 636 is a progressive drill, it can be done by all types of swimmers. It's a simple drill to understand and can be very effective if done correctly. It can help greatly with every aspect of freestyle, body position, leg kick, arm pull, breathing and timing of the stroke. You start off by doing 6 kicks on your side in a swordfish position making sure you look directly down to the pool floor and maintaining a high leading arm. Once you've done 6 kicks, do 3 freestyle arm strokes as you would normally do in full stroke but then on the last stroke extend your arm out in front of you and return back into swordfish. For beginner swimmers, you should try to breathe during the three arm strokes and not during the six kicks. This is so you focus fully on the six kick segment as that would be the most important thing to concentrate on for improving the basics of body position and leg kick. For more competent swimmers, you can work on breathing to the sides during the six kicks. Make sure to do it swiftly as 6 kicks doesn't take that long to complete and you need your head back into a neutral position ready for the 3 arm strokes. A common fault with this drill is rushing it too much. This should be done at a steady rate to ensure that you've got your body in the correct position to make sure it's a worthwhile practice. Rushing it loses your body control and alignment. Try to keep your body outstretched for the duration of this drill. Slipping water is known to happen with freestyle drills, which is another fault. Slipping water is where you don't catch enough water with your hand or forearm on the underwater pull phase of your arm stroke. If this happens, you lose a lot of momentum through the water. To combat this, you can use paddles to help catch as much water as possible. If you don't have paddles, just try to concentrate on relaxing your hand and focus on a strong arm pull drive to your hip. A last common fault, which occurs during the swordfish part of this drill, is the hand that's by your side starts to move or wave. Doing this puts you out of streamline and shows that the swimmer isn't balanced enough on their side, so they'll need more practice in a swordfish position. Your hand should be fixed by your side with just your legs kicking when in swordfish. Make sure you've mastered swordfish before progressing onto this drill. most recent progressive freestyle drill which gets you focusing on all aspects of the stroke. Make sure you check out our other tutorials which we upload every week here on the Propulsion Swimming YouTube channel. Please subscribe, leave a comment and we'll catch you next week.